Well, good afternoon. It's Mark Lohr, your superintendent in Niagara Falls. YouTube update. No COVID positive cases today. Good to report. BOCES uses our school at Niagara Falls High School in LaSalle. And in the BOCES program, there was a positive case. They've quarantined their entire section of students at Niagara Falls High School. They do live with us. They are our friends, and I want to report that to you. The, the class is quarantined. It is a BOCES class. No new cases in Niagara Falls. Uh, tomorrow is Wednesday in elementary school. Wednesdays are 2 p.m. dismissal. You may remember a number of years ago, and for a number of years ago, it was Tuesday. Wednesdays are 2 p.m. dismissal. Please, parents, make sure you're home to receive children. Please, tomorrow is Wednesday, it's a 2 p.m. dismissal. Our transportation continues to be slow on the ride home, especially with our high school students. Apologize, working on it, not much better yet, not gonna sugarcoat it, gonna tell you the truth. We're looking for bus drivers, we're combining bus runs. Uh, it's late and we'll get better, but we need your patience. Please, please, please be kind and conscientious that our bus drivers are doing the best they can. And those that are on the road, it's not their fault. I wanna particularly thank yesterday, the Niagara Falls Peacemakers, the Niagara Falls chapter of the NAACP and our group called the Men Standing Strong for their support outside at dismissal time. They'll be there today. These are community members donating their time for the safety of everyone. Thank you, NAACP. Thank you, Men Standing Strong. Thank you, Peacemakers. We couldn't do it without you. I also want to tell all parents that you do receive an EBT, an electronic food card, and those food cards have been filled. So if you have an EBT card, it's an electronic food card and it's filled. If you have any questions with respect to that, while our school district doesn't issue them, we'll try and help guide you. Ms. Shiro's office will help. 286-421, uh, uh, I believe is the uh, number. She will help you and she'll support you with your EBT cards. We want you to know that it is filled and can be used and will help you with the information that you need to get. This Friday is homecoming at Niagara Falls High School. Niagara Falls homecoming is Friday. There is a, a football game, a night football game this Friday at 7 p.m. I need to give you a couple of expectations and rules. Elementary school students and middle school students are not permitted to attend unless they are with a parent or guardian. If you're in elementary school or middle school and you're attending, you must be with a parent or guardian. If you're a Niagara Falls High School student, be prepared to show your identification. Okay, I'll repeat that all week. We are very thankful to have the support of the Niagara Falls Police and the Niagara County Sheriff's Department. That's Friday evening. The homecoming dance is just for Niagara Falls High School students and it's on Saturday. Uh, please, only Niagara Falls High School students that have bought tickets, we will strictly adhere to that regulation. I wanna remind and tell everybody that our community Men Standing Strong group and others will be at Gluck Park this Saturday from one to three. Join us at Gluck Park services games, people, individuals who are there to help, just to talk, come out and join us. We look forward to seeing you. If you need a COVID vaccination, uh, please call the Niagara Falls Health es Equity Task Force 263-5770. 263-5770, they'll get you that vaccination information. Please follow our protocols of hand washing and safety. Masks must be worn in all locations. Uh, we do our very best with distancing. Thank you so much for your support. As I've been reiterating, we solve problems by discussing them. We never resort to violence or putting our hands on people. We know you'll comply. We appreciate you. Stay healthy, stay safe, and thank you very much.